Alrighty guys, so I'm sure, I apologize for the key light here, but it's necessary for me to see, but I'm sure you guys saw in the uh, initial opening of IQ, I did not have uh, any of these devices, no lighting nodes and no power commanders. Um, and that's because I was having an issue um, with, not that connector. Uh, one of these connectors, let's see if I can find it. It was a four pin off the fan. Um, and it was, it's dressed in one of these guys here. So I was having an issue with this connector here. Um, I had this guy plugged in. I have no idea what it does or why when I plug it in to a four pin fan spot, it, uh, it powers the pump off. It could be because this is supposed to produce the power and I already have a Molex connected, but um, I'm not sure. So that was my first issue I was having. My second issue was I couldn't get, like I said, I couldn't get any of my Power Commander Pros or my lighting nodes in the IQ software in order to change the lights. And so as you guys can see over here, what I had to do was completely take apart every piece of wire here inside my PC. And I realize not everyone's going to be doing a 21 or 22 fan build, but I have a push pull here on the front. Let me make sure you guys can see this. I have a push pull here on the front. So these ones are pushing air and these ones are pulling air into the case. So that means I've got eight fans on the outside and I got eight fans on the inside. So that's 16 fans just right there from the front to the back. Plus these 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So I have a lot of fans and each power commander can only power six fans. So I've got six, 12, and then I have another one inside here, right there, which is uh, six, 12 plus another six is 18. So I'm missing three fans power. That's where hopefully this thing's gonna come in. I'm gonna be able to power these last three fans. I don't know yet. Um, the fan power is powered by the Commander Pros. The nodes, these things here, uh, power the RGB. So the lighting nodes are what power the RGB. So in order for these to show up in the IQ software, I had to completely unplug every single thing in the PC and basically start from scratch. And how I started was uh, I first plugged in a Power Commander Pro to the 10 pin on my motherboard, right right there, the only pins you guys can see, right there, 10 pin, tested it out, and it popped up in the IQ store. As soon as I plugged it in the motherboard, it popped up. Then I was like, you know what? I need a little bit more room, so I plugged it into this 10 pin splitter right here, and now I have two Commander Pros plugged in. That's why you guys see two Commander Pros here. Um, and so that's how I solved the problem. I know it's not the easiest way. I know that you guys were hoping for some kind of just easy, quick fix. There's not. If you want your Commander Pros to show up in IQ, you need to completely take off all the fans and all the RGB and just start with one Commander Pro. Open the software, plug the Commander Pro, into the into the 10 pin or the 9 pin rather the 9 pin into your motherboard over here guys right Let's see if I can't get a little closer right there plug it into your motherboard and see if you get it see if you get the commander pro then you can go from there so then what I went ahead and did is I hooked up one of these nodes and the nodes connect this line here goes to SATA power here, and the other line here goes into the uh, nine pin on the Commander Pro, and that's where it gets its power through this nine pin. So then what I did was I grabbed, let's say, one of these things, and remember guys, you have to plug these in, right? Remember, if one, two, three, 
four, five, six, you have to plug them in that order because it's a circuit. If you plug it into two and there's nothing in one, the circuit is not complete and you're not gonna get power. So again, you have to plug them in in sequential order, one, two, three, etc. So we'll plug this fan in here and then we'll see which fan is lighting up in here. And as you guys can see, that is the 12 fan on the inside there. So that's not the fans I want hooked up to this node. I want six of these fans, six of these exterior fans plugged in to this node so that I know which fans I'm changing the color combination on. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna be very tedious. Nobody likes tedious, no one wants to do the work any day anymore these days, but you gotta put in the hours. This is gonna, gonna take me at least two hours to figure out which fan goes where and how it goes. And unfortunately, I should have done that on the beginning, labeled each one of them, but I didn't. So if you have a large fan configuration like I do here, make sure as you're plugging them in, fan one, fan two, get a little piece of tape, wrap it around it, get a Sharpie, and label the fans and you won't have this huge ass problem. But I've been seeing a lot of stuff online. You can't figure out why your Commander Pros aren't working. Well, I'll tell you the best tip that I can give you guys. Unplug everything. Start with just the Commander Pro with the nine pins on the Commander Pro. Plug it into your motherboard and see if it pops up in IQ. I bet it does.